Hey everyone, so I wanted to take a minute to discuss the always on screen display on the Galaxy Note 7. Uh, because it is pretty awesome, there's a lot of features that you can enable that aren't available by default. And also there's a whole lot more you can do than on the S7 series. So you see here I have the Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, now you see you have the date, the time, you have the battery rate percent. And then if I had like a missed call, mixed test message, it would be available right here. Although there's a lot it doesn't have, like it doesn't have third party notifications or much notifi- or rather much uh, customization. Whereas on the Note 7, now this is not the default version, I'll show you guys how you can enable this. Uh, but at the top you see I have the date, the time, I have my logo right here. And I have my battery by percent, the song I'm listening to. And then some notifications here at the bottom including third party notifications. So yeah guys, really a whole lot going on here. Uh, now if I want to bring up, or actually I'll show you something cool you can do first. Now let's say if I want to make a note for myself. Uh, and you can do this on any of the always on screen displays on Note 7, it doesn't have to be this one. But let's say if I want to just remind myself, I want to say, you know, like buy milk after work. Sorry about shaking the table there. Uh, but you see, I can write a note here, I can save it to my phone like this by pressing here. Or if I want, I can press right here. And I'll pin it to the screen. So really guys, I mean that's awesome feature right there. Alright, so if you want, you can just double tap here to go back to the screen we just sat. And let's say if I want to go to one of my notifications, uh, I want to bring up Google Play Music like here. So just double tap there, unlock the phone, and I'm in. So really guys, I mean, a whole lot you can do here, um, just in terms of enabling it. So you go into your settings, go into Always On Display. Oops, I actually meant to press right here. And then you're going to press on more settings. So you see this is the one I have right here. Uh, now you can mess around with the features here a little bit. Oh, and also you probably going to have to press here about always on display. Uh, I had to update mine. Um, by default I didn't have all these options. So see here I'm up to the latest version, but you might need to update it. Just going to go back. And now we can go to layouts right here. So the default layout is, I think this one right here. Probably the one that most of you guys are used to. Uh, I could apply it here if I wanted to. Uh, I guess you can change the color, background, stuff like that too. But the one that I have enabled is right here. Uh, press on it again. So you can change the image, you can do color inversion, apply it here, things like that. And then up here at the top, uh, so you see you can have content to show. Uh, if I want I can just have a calendar like this. Or just have the clock, image. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe because I will have a whole lot more Note Series videos coming shortly. And as always, thanks for watching.